Hello there, welcome back. It is me, Texter, and let's continue on from where we left off, which was the out of the box experience or the OOBE of Windows 11. So, new Fluent Design, brand new screen, brand new icons, brand new color scheme. It's a lot more lively, a bit more up to date. It feels fresh. Um, yeah, it's part of Microsoft's new design language. They call it the fluent language. So everything's all rounded and the colors are a bit softer, but still quite noticeable. Uh, it's quite nice, I, I, I like, to be honest, but UI is kind of personal opinion, really. So you guys may hate it, you guys might love it, but it's definitely a bit more, a bit more controversial, I think this one will be. Um, so yeah, it, it, the, the out of the box experience, the setup process, it kind of follows a little bit of what Windows 10 um, was doing. Um, Windows 10 improved the setup experience quite a lot. Um, whether some people find it too long, I don't know, but, um, for me personally, it did make things a little bit easier, but if you're setting up a brand new computer or you've just reinstalled Windows 10, and you just want to go straight into things, um, it doesn't really let you do that. You are going to be waiting a fair bit. Um, as for example here, uh, I've literally pressed a few buttons and it's immediately checking for updates and it's just going to take a while. Why it does this, I don't know. You should really just give the user a chance to go, please pass the updates on to the end. I'm not Microsoft. Um, so yeah, next you then select when you want to use the PC for personal use or for business use. Uh, and then uh, I've actually found out that you can actually use an offline account with this Windows 11 build. Uh, quite a lot of videos on YouTube say that you can't and you have to sign in with a Microsoft account. Um, you don't, although it is a limited experience, you don't get access to um, one of the new features of Windows 11, which is widgets. Um, because that does require you to sign in with a Microsoft account. Pretty much everything else works in some shape or form. Um, you do have to click these little like, highlighted words saying limited experience or offline account. Obviously Microsoft want you to use a Microsoft account, get the most out of the operating system, but hey, -oh, for testing purposes, I'm not gonna link it to my Microsoft account. So we create an offline account, give it a username, give it a password again you can see some of these new icons as well on the left hand side of the screen um then just going to put in some dummy security questions again because i'm using this in a virtual machine i'm just going to put anything just to pass the process um but you can still see that they're still uh just underneath the boxes they're still trying to uh, get you to use an online account or a microsoft account um windows 10 does the same thing Albeit Windows 10 is a little bit more hidden, um, but hey -oh. um yeah. So, uh, more waiting obviously uh, ensues here. Um, there's a lot of waiting uh, that I've noticed. Uh, it's carried on from the installation. Again, I don't know if this is just my virtual machine. I don't know if it's just my PC, the test machine that I've used or if it's Windows 11 in general, uh, just for this build. I'm not sure, it could be a combination of all three, but it, it was a little bit sluggish. Um, so then you gotta answer the standard questions you get in Windows 10, you wanna find my device, advertising ID, diagnostic data, and all that lovely stuff. But again, the UI is quite nice, it's quite inviting, um, it's a bit more lively um, compared to Windows 10 where it was just pretty much solid blue. Um, which was a little bit boring to look at, to be honest. Again, more waiting. Uh, this waiting goes on for a while. Um, and then there are some new animations, um, but because I'm in a virtual machine and I think the machine is not, it's not that great in terms of its GPU specs, and I don't think it really passed GPU acceleration properly into the machine, you can't quite see the animations on here, which is a shame, but the animations are quite fluid, they're quite nice. Um, they do try and run the full 60 FPS, or the uh, refresh rate of your monitor. And then we get greeted to the tail end of the experience, 
uh, of the setup experience um, where uh, you usually see some funky colors in uh, Windows 10. Well, now you see whatever this is. It's like a weird spotlight thing. Um, it's a bit less blinding, I'm not going to lie. If you've ever um, had to reset Windows and you've had that screen come up and your screen's on full brightness, it does blind you. Um, and there we go, we are now in uh, Windows 11, uh, we're on the desktop. So, thank you very much for watching, and catch me in the next video, where we'll start going through some of these desktop features.